Gavin, both Hood and Collins. Yes, Dirk. And they'll have the pleasure of burning up with our gold. Well, we'd better report to Slater. Right. Tell the chief, and we'll try and dig him out before the rest of the building falls on him. Come on, stand back here, the fire. Oh, telephone, Tom's dad, getting down here at once. Get an ambulance. What's the matter with you? What's the matter All right, George, down the next street, turn to your right. All right, come on, man, let's get this hole strung out along here. Come on. Tom, is he all right? I think so. Tom. Tom. Your escape was a miracle. <coughs> yeah, the, the truck saved us. He was hurt in the building, I just carried him out. Here comes Kate and Mr. Hood. Come on, we'll get Tom to a doctor. Come on, folks. The wreck is cold down here. Tom! Tom, are you hurt, my boy? Are you hurt? You're all right, officer. Tom! Tom! Tom, my boy! Thanks, officer. Get him in the car with you. He must get him to a doctor. Hello, McTig. You got my message? Anything happen? Not yet, Chief. Haven't seen a soul. Well, they'll be along. Young Hood and that newspaper girl. You want me to stop him? Oh, just pretend to. Then give him a little argument and let him go by. All right. I get you. 
the road, Tom. Yeah, now, now listen. When we find this place, Betty and I'll go on up alone, see? It's too many of us might tip them off. Well, suppose you meet somebody. Well, we'll throw a bluff. Tell them that, well, we could tell them we're going to buy some ornamental rock. To build a fireplace or something. Now, come on, let's go. Oh, all right. Gavin on the other side. Lefty, at the wheel, ready for a quick getaway. Tony, behind the rock, and ready to spring. I remember, nobody's to be hurt. Now you're taking them to Rand's place, out in the sawtooth range. You get that? All right, Chief. I got it, Chief. Car right here. Bob, park it over there at the side of the road. What's the idea? That's the private road that leads to their cave. Now you and Kate wait here and Betty and I'll go on ahead. Hey, there's a storm coming up. Listen, you better hurry. That storm's love will dampen our enthusiasm. All right, then. Make it snappy. We don't want to get caught in a storm. If we're not back in 20 minutes, you come after us. Come on, Betty. Are you going to wait here for them 20 minutes? No. It's no use arguing with Tom. If he's not back here in five minutes, I'm going to follow and find out why. Well, while we're waiting, we better put up the storm curtain. Hello? What do you want? Well, we'd like to go inside and look at some colored rocks. There's nobody here but me. All the business is done in town. Oh, but I'd like to see them. Couldn't we just look in? It's again the rule. There's the entrance. Go ahead. Thanks. Well, this place looks lonesome enough to hide buried treasure. Certainly does. Oh, Betty, glance back and see if that fellow's following us. There's no one in front. Listen, now you wait here, and I'll go inside and look around. No, wait a minute. I'm going with you. All right, come on. Kate, I'm not going to wait any longer. I'm going after him. You keep the motor running. We may have to leave in a hurry. All right, but be careful. some sort of a light. But if the lost gold is here, this may be our chance. Come on, let's go this way. Friends of mine just came in here. A man and a girl. Did you see which way they went? Nobody came in here. Now clear out. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh. Oh, 
Vasco! Come on, tell me about Vasco! Look at Keith. What's the matter? What happened? He's out cold. Yeah, the car must have hit him when they come through. Let's get into town. Storm Kate, I'm going to get Betty and Tom out of that car, but I have to go through Hellfire. 